Hello, everyone. Hi, welcome to What Sold Saturday. <laughs> As you can see, Ryan is not here with me this weekend. Instead, Debbie is here. I will be subbing for Ryan for the day. And I know we bring up Debbie every once in a while in the videos, and a lot of videos. Some people, I guess, probably have missed the What's Old Saturday she's been in, because there's only been two. So I've seen some questions of like, who's this Debbie you guys bring up all the time? <laughs> this is Debbie, and Debbie is my mother. So when we say like we're grabbing stuff for Debbie, Debbie does sell some things on Poshmark, and so we grab some stuff at the bins for her that she will sell. Certain brands. Yeah, Debbie likes to sell Topshop and Zara. And also, as as a reminder, like last time, I don't call her Debbie like off camera. It's just easier on the video to call her Debbie. <laughs> Although I do call my mom Nancy sometimes when I want to get her attention. True. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be sharing the sales that we had this week from Poshmark. And then I had some on eBay that I want to share. And Debbie sells a lot on Mercari. So she's going to share those. And before we jump into it, I want to remind you guys that you can leave questions below for Ryan and I's Tuesday video. We're going to do a question and answer and they can be like personal, they can be business related they can be whatever and we're gonna try to answer you guys's questions so just leave those in the comments this week of what sold saturday covers the second through the eighth and after we get through this week from poshmark debbie is going to share some of her sales from march she's going to share some highlights of her best march sales before we do our poshmark i'm going to share my ebay sales because i had a few really good ones and then debbie will share her couple of mercari sales mediocre <laughs> My first eBay sale for this week was this pair of Burberry Lark Hall Novacek logo printed sneakers. These were doing super good on Poshmark and they did really good on eBay. They had a lot of watchers and these sold for $320 and I think I had them priced at $400 so that was a pretty good offer. And eBay is actually running a promotion right now where they were authenticating certain items for free and so these actually were sent to eBay and they authenticated them, which was kind of cool. So that was a really good sale. And then I also sold this Coach Ellen striped white red flap crossbody bag. And this is what I called the candy cane bag because it looked a lot like candy cane, obviously. I purchased this in like January. So it was like right after Christmas. So I probably would have done better in December, but it still was really cute. And it sold for 150. Then of course, every week I saw one of these, I feel like. I sold an Agua by Agua Bendita. And I don't always just sell them on Poshmark. I have sold a couple of them on eBay and this one sold on eBay. This was a skirt, and I will say the skirts don't do as good as the dresses, but it all does good, so it's all worth picking up. This is the Coralina Anise Linen Skirt, and this sold for 400 That's not as good. Well, wow. like, they just take longer. I've had oh. this for quite a while, but I mean, obviously, it still had a lot of watchers and a lot of likes and stuff, so it still does really good. So pick it all up. I'm just saying don't pay up as much for a skirt as you would for a dress. And last on eBay was this cool floral floral hibiscus kai sweater this was my first time finding this brand and this was actually at the bins and cool is definitely a bolo it's k-u-l-e i know that there's another brand called cool that is also a bolo and that's k-h-u-l they are both very different but they're both good to pick up and this sold for 75 i would have had none of those sales if i didn't use list perfectly ebay is honestly kind of a pain in the butt to list on and list perfectly makes it super easy i do still have my code to get 30 percent off of your first month and I <laughs> sponsored by coca-cola <laughs> now Debbie will share her couple of Mercari sales. I did not have any Mercari sales worth talking about. I did have other eBay sales actually that just weren't as good and I don't think I sold anything on Mercari this week so. Well I don't know if these would really be worth for Jack to talk about <laughs> but. But Debbie didn't have a ton on Poshmark and I said she has to talk <laughs> a little bit more than that so. I, for my mother, Nancy, I sold her Valentine beanies for $14. Back in the day, Nancy was definitely one of those people that collected beanie babies. And so now she is slowly getting rid of them all. She's bringing them to consignment stores. She's yes. having Debbie sell them. And she has a lot. Or she had a lot. I think I got her into beanies and it would be like, the ostrich is coming out today. We've got to go get it. <laughs> I think Debbie's noticed that like the holiday ones sell the best on yeah. like Mercari, especially like Halloween 
Yes. Which is not surprising because us best. Halloween people love to buy Halloween stuff. Or the teddy bears. And mm. re actually, she has some originals. And they're like tie-dye teddy bears. Oh, the bears. ones that are called like old face or whatever. She has an old face one that has a different face. And then she has like Garcia and Peace and they're tie-dye. And I actually have them listed for pretty high because some people have them listed like out on eBay and stuff for I mean, I'll say like $1,400. I don't know if they sell for that. I know. But... I know. They're just listed for that. But I will say back in the <clears throat> heyday, my mother bought me one that had the same birth date as me for 250 bucks. <laughs> I know. I feel bad. That one is still in my closet and I don't dare sell it or anything. But <laughs> well, I think back in the day, it wasn't the promise that like these are going to go, go up, up in value. value and be worth so much. And they do still sell sometimes, but I definitely don't think they so, got their value that they were no. promised to get. <laughs> no. And then I actually sold a Christmas figurine with its possible dreams with Santa shoveling snow by a penguin that i think was just from my own collection personal collection <laughs> i have heard that christmas sells all year i think halloween and christmas can sell all year yeah well it starts so early like in the stores it starts in july yeah and then i sold a giraffe fossil not a wristlet but like a little clutch coin, like coin purse. purse yep Ouch. that that was given to me from jack from the bins mm -hmm. um which i do like fossil that was cute and then I actually sold something from Jack's personal Colesio. <laughs> yes. A Levi Princess Peach t shirt for seventeen dollars. I'm sure there's a video somewhere where I was wearing that, probably. Yes, probably. <laughs> and then the boys usually also find me cabbie. Mm -hmm. And so I sold a cabbie white day cardigan sweater for $15 on Macari. And those were my Macari sales. <laughs> so now we will move on to our Poshmark week. And like I said, this is the week of the 2nd through the 8th. And actually, you get to start off because for some reason, I didn't have a single sale on the 2nd. Wow, I may start, but you're not going to hear much of me. It was a very <laughs> slow week. Week for me <laughs> on the second so i just had one sale and it was a trina turk colorful romper very very cute yes but i got it from one of you two i think i was donating it yes i did take this one out of the bag it was so pretty but the problem was is it has spaghetti straps and i think one of them was like split or something yes and so i tied it in a knot and made them equal and so i sold that for 28 dollars and i made 19 dollars and 72 cents and she did give you five stars and said adorable yes <laughs> so i must have did a good job tying then on the third i had two i had none <laughs> so my first one on the third was my favorite style of of Sam Edelman. It was the Sam Edelman Hazel Black Leather Pumps. Like I've said a million times, I cannot sell like just plain regular heels at all, but for some reason the Sam Edelman Hazel sells super super well. And these sold for $55 and I get $44. And if you guys remember, this was actually from Last Chance in Chicago. So these were like brand new, so that's probably why they sold for oh, so much. Yeah. But I love to pick up the Hazels. And then I sold this pair of Levi's 501 Distressed Black jean shorts because we are now entering the season of that and these sold for 34 and i get 27 20 and then on the fourth i had four i had one okay, very can, tiny start. <laughs> so i'll start it'll only take me a few seconds <laughs> i sold a new with tag free people cotton medallion boys shorts underwear brand new and yes brand new i sold for they sold for eight dollars and i made two dollars and 37 cents <laughs> i think you broke the record for the least net of anything on what's on saturday a new record I might have some little lower, but no. <laughs> <laughs> My first one on the fourth was this pair of Acne Studios black lugged espadrilles. And of course, spring is also espadrille season, so we will probably see those start to sell more too. And these sold for 155 and I get 124 And I think I got these at a clothes mentor for like 45 or 55 So I did pay up, but they still basically doubled the money wow. that I paid. I love espadrilles. Yeah, those were like brand new too. Then Ryan told me to not bring this to the consignment store and to sell it myself because of the style and so I did list it and it did end up selling pretty quick. It was this Madewell flannel pink 
Courier shirt. So that's the style name. It's the Courier. And I guess it's like a popular Madewell style. I did not know that. But this did sell for 31 and I get 2480 and I was kind of surprised by that. Then, of course, again, spring, we are in the season of people getting cute dresses to go to like events or weddings or whatever. And I sold this self portrait star print flared handkerchief dress. Self portrait is a huge bolo. Some of the styles sell for like five or six. 600. Some were worn by like the royals in like oh. the royals of England or whatever. Mm -hmm. And those ones sell for like a thousand. Like Ooh. I think one of them wore them as like a wedding Where dress did you or find something. It? This I think I got, this was like online arbitrage, which means I oh. got it online. Okay. <laughs> I think it was like off eBay or something. Okay. And it sold for 200 and I get 160, which is great. And my last one on the fourth was my lowest of the week probably. And it was this Free People shell lace tassel belt. And this sold for 15 and I get 12. That sounds like a Debbie sale. <laughs> Maybe my highest is lowest. <laughs> <laughs> then on the fifth, I had four. I had none. <laughs> my first what one. What sounds better, none or zero? <laughs> My first one was this vintage Toucan Country palm printed jumpsuit. And Toucan Country is a brand that, like I assumed, makes prints of literally just like toucan stuff. It's like a vintage brand and they use a ton of toucans. It's really cute. And this jumpsuit sold for 35 and I get 28 and that sold super fast. Even though it actually had a number of flaws, but it still sold really well. Mm -hmm. Then I sold this super, super cute pair of Athleta Elation high-waisted 7 eighths ombre leggings and these were like a really cute like tan sand like ombre color and these sold for 42 and i get 33.60 then i already sold a pair of the birdies and i sold the cognac color of the birdies starling leather slip on loafers these sold for 60 and i get 45.32 what nice <laughs> and the last like bin strip i found two pair of these in your size are, one was black and one was this cognac and are these birdies ones... similar to rothy's or yeah no? okay. birdies are like in the same like wavelength as rothy's antiques where there's like certain people that really really like mm, them and collect okay. them they don't sell for as much they flat they... shoes yeah so i still have the black pair but those do have a ton of likes also and then my last on the fifth debbie was with me when i bought this was this joie which i do not normally pick up joie but this how could you skip this it's so adorable palms printed palm leaf spring linen jacket and this sold for 120 dollars, and i get 96 and this sold in like a day or two days wow which for joie is pretty crazy. But this was worn by a couple bloggers and stuff, so that's probably why. Then on the sixth, I had three. I had zero. <laughs> My first one was this anthropology Sabina... Musayev textured dress. This was my first time finding this brand and I don't know if I said that right at all. I was gonna say your sales are a mouthful. I don't <laughs> even know if I, they're so long and they have such names. That's probably why I <laughs> run out of breath when we film. Yes. This brand is extremely expensive and I think this is the only dress that was ever sold at Anthropology by this brand but the dresses usually go for like five or six hundred dollars new. This one I think it retailed at like three hundred. Uh, but I, it sold for 50 and I get 40 and if I found a different dress by her, I probably could have got more. Then I sold this Zara plaid fringe studded shacket jacket. This I honestly kind of wanted to keep for myself because it was really, really adorable. It was like fringe and it had studs all over it and it was just very like western, but it did not fit. It was a woman's small. I think it was kind of like crop length too, which I'm already... And usually he does give me the Zara, but obviously he thought that was too cute to give. <laughs> I think I paid like possibly like $20 for this. Oh, so that I just, yeah. it was like super cute and it was yeah. brand new. So that's why. And I sold it for 80 and I get 64. And last on the sixth was actually a Target item. Mm -hmm. And it was this Wild Fable Cottage Core floral embroidered cardigan. And some Wild Fable pieces can sell. So if you find a Wild Fable item and it's really, really cute, I would say look it up. Some of the tie dye and then some of the like trendier stuff like this can do good. This sold for 22 and I get 14.92. Then on the seventh, I had five. I had two. So you Yay. can start. I sold a Sundance rib tee with kind of scalloped sleeves for $15. <laughs> 932. I have it listed as Sundance ribbed Uber tea. And I really don't think I was doing a misspell. 
unless I meant under T, but it, it does not go under because the sleeves are scalloped. And I must have saw it somewhere that it said that, but <laughs> Jack has made fun of me for calling it an over T. Just wait. At the end, we're going to go through some of Debbie's best March sales, and there's a couple titles in there that are pretty funny, too. <laughs> are questionable. <laughs> so that sold for 15 and I made 932 Then I sold a Zara that Jack did give me. It was a Zara Fame graphic tee, and I'm not sure this is not Fame the movie, but it's just... Is it a musical? It was... Um, and maybe that's the musical scene. There's a big scene okay. on there, but that sold pretty quick. It was, I sold for 15 and I got 12. Yeah, I just found that at the bins last time I went. So that sold super quick. And I had like a couple marks, but I mean with like a graphic tee. Yeah. It didn't really matter. Right in. So my first one on the 7th went to Lori. So hello and thank you to Lori. Lori purchased these really, really nice Lululemon, or as we say, Lululemon. <laughs> Lululemon. <laughs> Speed up 28 inch tights in houndstooth and these sold for 60 and I get 48 and they had the nice like phone pocket in the side which I know is like a huge thing with leggings nowadays. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much Lori. Those were literally like brand new. Then my first time selling this brand I sold this Bryn Walker green button linen jacket. Ryan loves to sell this brand and I know a lot of people that watch us have said they do too. This is my first piece by them and it did take a little while. It sold for 28 and I get 20 240. Then I sold this pair of Sardo by Franco Sardo leather Sophie pumps. These sold for 35 and I get 25 32. I don't pick up Franco Sardo. I do pick up Sardo by Franco Sardo. A lot of them are sold at Anthropology, and this pair was just super cute and the stuff by this line is just like more trendy. I don't know if that's what this line is for. Is it supposed to be more expensive or no? You would think it's like a diffusion line that it'd be like cheaper. But hmm, yeah. to me, the stuff under this line is like super nice. And then I sold a pair of Anthropology Flora Night Cruise embroidered pajama pants. And these sold for 18 and I get $14.40. And then my last sale on the 7th was from the haul that you guys just saw. It was this Pear Ocean Life Aquatic Printed Playmat. And Pear, like I said, in the haul is a super expensive baby brand. They mainly make playmats, but I think they make other stuff too. And it sold at like Nordstrom and stuff. This sold for 25 and I get 20. Then on the last day of what sold Saturday, the 8th, I had, I had a good day. Seven sales. I had one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My one, was one sale was something that Ryan had given me, a Kit and Ace Men's Gray Pullover, a brand I had never heard of. Um, that sold for $15 and I get $9.32. And Kit and Ace is a bolo. I know Kit and Ace is an athletic brand, and I think it's like one of the original founders of Lululemon left Lululemon and started Kit and Ace, I think. And Kit and Ace makes like 50% men's, 50% women's. So like there's a good mix of men's and women's from Kit and Ace. But oh. the, the logo is like a little, almost looks like an hourglass, I think, kind oh, of. Oh yeah, and it does, you're right. And it was right like on the shirt right here. Yeah. It was just like a little hourglass. Yeah. So that was just and of course, of course, like Lulu, everyone cuts the tags out of Kit and Ace because they're like long ribbons. Yeah. And so you really have to like look for the little hourglass logo. So my first sale on the 8th went to Ellen. So hello and thank you to Ellen. And she got that super, super nice Kate Spade patent leather logo neon tote which is absolutely perfect for spring. As we have said, there are two very popular colors this spring. One of them I will not say the name of, and then one of them is pink. Why will you not say the name of? Because, because in the trend report, and then after the trend report, we do that video where we go to Mall of America and like film all the trends. Yeah. We probably said that word like 10,000 times. Oh, so so heard people it are much. probably tired of hearing <laughs> this color. What is you it? Know? Like olive or sage? Oh, okay. Yeah, so you look very trendy today. Well, <laughs> if it was mixed with Debbie doesn't said hot watch pink. our videos, so she probably doesn't well, know that it's trendy. But she we looks... do watch some of them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to get uh, my hubby and my younger son to get interested yeah, in I watching don't think these they videos. Care very much. <laughs> <laughs> then on the eighth, this is an example. Actually, there's a few examples on the eighth of the fact that. 
basically all kinds of items can sell all year round because I sold this Sleeping on Snow Anthropology Rare Blanket Fuzzy Hooded Cardigan, which is extremely like winter. It was like a huge cardigan with like a hood and it was like super thick. And this sold for $58 and I get $46.40. And then another more winter or fall type item, I sold this J. Crew Cocoon City Coat in Camel for $75. Yeah. This is one of my favorite J. Crew pieces to sell. I've had it a couple times and I get 60 and this is honestly fitting for spring here as well because we still this is finally like our first nice day it's like it's gonna be 50, here 50 which is like a heat wave yeah <laughs> then I sold this pair of aloe yoga aloe yoga raspberry sorbet ribbed sweatpants and these sold for 60 and I get 45 32 and these were also in the last haul these were super nice they almost look like juicy couture or something very pretty color then I sold this Torrid white lace floral zip jacket and this sold for 20 and I get 14 28 That's a good spring item. And then to Jill. So hello to Jill as well. And thank you to Jill. As usual, Jill was shopping in my home section and I had just listed a handful of anthropology plates because I was in our storage unit and I noticed a pile of plates that were sitting there and I was like, I don't think I have these listed. Sure enough, I didn't have any of them listed. And this was one of them. It was the Anthropology Maggie Stevenson Sisterhood Plate and Jill purchased this for 35 and I get 28 so thank you very much Jill. And my last sale of the week was from my own personal collection and you guys might be surprised that I sold this but I will explain. It was this Moschino 2020 Pumpkin Halloween Faces Belt and this sold for $190 and I get $152 and I only sold it because A, it was way, way, way too small for me. Like I could only probably have put it around like my true waist. Is that what this is called right here? Yeah. And also, I have a second one, so I don't need this one. <laughs> and so that's why I sold it. I only sold it because I got a new one that does fit me. And so that is it for the week. So my gross from Posh, and this is only from Poshmark, this does not count eBay, was 1,553. So a very decent, like, average week. My gross <laughs> from Posh was $78. And that does not count her huge Mercari week. Oh, I don't think that was huge. I did, and... I did have a few marketplaces yesterday but that's true she today. wasn't gonna share those because those are like furniture pieces and stuff <laughs> don't want to bore you to tears and my net was 1242 and 40 cents and my net was 52 dollars and 73 cents <laughs> little pocket change and since debbie didn't have enough of her spotlight this time i told her that she has to share her top sales from march because i don't know if you were in any march what's on saturdays either you were in the first weekend of March or you might have been in the last weekend of February but either way you didn't really make much of a March appearance no here's her time to shine with her huge spectacular amazing well, Agua Bendita sales from <laughs> I don't from think March. I would say huge but I did sell Jack gave them to me some Eileen Fisher glance slingback sandals um, for $30 and I made $21.32. I felt so bad because I actually sent them a different pair of Eileen Fishers and the girl was so wonderful. She returned them and waited and rebought these so it was that very was really nice, nice of her to yes. do all that usually for me. people will just return them and then yes. kind of be over it that, yes that was nice very nice and then i sold a coach <laughs> okay this is one of those questionable i thought was funny i must have copied the title from something that may be wrong coach signature soho buckle flap bag and that is because oh, it does yeah. buckle okay i had read it when i was taking the screenshot and you said bucket. Bucket. yeah it's... even though what is soho well i'm not sure but and it was <laughs> jack gave me that also well, it you was made the title so what is Soho? Yeah. <laughs> isn't that just kind of a word like boho you know <laughs> Like it just me. It's a certain place, I think, well, in the country. I know. I mean, in, I wasn't Soho like New place York, in Soho, New York. New York. Yeah. And I know that Maybe Gucci. It's a Gucci has a Soho bag that actually does kind of look like that shape. So I don't know if Soho is a style of flap bag. I, I don't know. We may have to Google that. I don't know. It sold for thirty-five dollars, and I made twenty-five thirty-two. Thank and you, I Jack. Gave you that. Yes, yeah, that I was. Did. 
a really pretty, it's a very pretty color. Like, it's lavender. lavender. It was sold gonna, very quick. Yeah, I was gonna sell it, and then I just like had it sitting around for too long, and so I gave it to you. Yay! <laughs> and then I sold mm -hmm. another Coach Casey satchel that Who's either Casey? you <laughs> Casey with a K. <laughs> it's just the style of the purse. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, either you or Ryan gave me this because that's where I get my coach bags. Probably Ryan. Okay. And I sold that for $45 and I got $36. That's a big sale. And then a bundle of a flamingo, a Kate Spade flamingo wallet. It did have a couple of flaws on it because Ryan actually got that at Unique. Mm. And he bought it for me because I think it was priced like three ninety nine, and he still thought for Kate Spade. Oh yeah, That's that right. with flamingos well, that on really it, cute. it was yeah. very cute. And the same person also bought a Michael Kors Kempton tote, which I think is from Ryan as well. So who is Kempton? <laughs> Yeah, who's Kempton? Who's Casey? Um, my gross was about 68, but I earned 55 and 8 cents. Then this I sold this really, really, I bought it at Turnstile. <laughs> it was Henry Bendel passport holder and it was like lavender. It was very, and then inside it had their traditional pinstriping that Henry Bendel has, but I sold it for 60 and I made 45, 32. That's really good for a passport holder. Yes. Debbie's, Debbie's kind of a big Henry Bendel seller. I Yes, I, it's cute and they don't make it anymore. So Henry Bendel people can be pretty faithful. Mm -hmm. But the girl gave me like five stars and said, thank you so much for the quick shipping. Product is exactly as described and it's beautiful in caps. <laughs> beautiful. So that was kind of nice. And then I also sold some Timberland floral premium booties. <laughs> <Are they> premium? <laughs> I obviously, hey, your titles have like 12 words to them. I'm copying the title also. <laughs> I do remember, okay, these, I bought these on Marketplace. The girl was selling three Timberlands, some, mm -hmm. That's right, you got some like, navy blue. And maybe two floral, different kinds of floral. And some pink. Yeah. And then some floral. And you got a and, really good deal. Yeah, I paid like $70 for all three. Yeah. And they were and they were my size, so it was like, <clears> well, <throat> if they don't sell, I have them here for my own foot. Yeah. But they all sold, and the, fl the floral one was the last to go, and that sold for 90 and I got $64.33. They were that very was, cute. I was in the middle of Janine 19, and Debbie was a big marketplace hunter yes. at that point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then another brand that you're... Kind of a queen of selling. Yes, Brahmin. I sold a Brahmin Croc embossed crossbody, and that sold for forty, and I made twenty nine thirty two. It was it was vintage. That was another marketplace sale. I bought two vintage Brahmins from this lady for twenty five dollars. And usually, I will say you can get more for Brahmin, but this one had like the canvas. Yes. Which and like the vintage stuff, especially with the canvas, like doesn't go for as much. But right. as the stuff that's all croc. But once again, I would like to say when she received it, she gave me five stars and all caps said, lovely purse, great seller, prompt delivery, thank you. So there you have it. <laughs> Debbie is the best <laughs> Poshmark seller there is. I have some satisfied customers. Yes. <laughs> so that is all of the sales that we have to share with you guys this week. So thank you to Debbie for joining me since Ryan is away. This yes, weekend. Ryan, we miss you yes. and hope Des Moines is treating you well. And as usual, if you guys would so kindly go to Debbie's closet and leave her some comments and tell her how good that she did or give her some shares or something for helping me out and i will see you guys on tuesday with ryan as a reminder that is the question and answer video so you can leave questions below if you have any debbie will see you probably next month next month and yes. always keep in mind the camera adds 25 pounds oh my gosh <laughs> and we will see you well i will see you on tuesday goodbye goodbye